In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix arm muscle pain in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, I'm going to show a two-part process to get rid of arm muscle pain quickly, even in as little as 30 seconds. In the first part, we're going to do a soft tissue release that is like a self-massage to target trigger points, muscle spasms, muscle knots, those type of things. In the second part, we're going to focus on stretching exercises to get everything loosened up pretty much from the top of the arm all the way down to the wrist. All of these exercises can be done at home. They're very easy, effective, and don't require any special equipment. So let's get started with it and get rid of that arm muscle pain right now. In the first part, we're going to get rid of arm pain quickly with a nice soft tissue release. This is known as muscle scraping or gua sha, and it might end up becoming your new favorite therapy. We need two things, the first being a large metal spoon. I like one that has a little bit more thickness to it. You'll get better results. The next being a form of lubrication. I'm going to be using coconut oil, but you can use any massage lotions. You can also use over-the-counter pain creams such as BioFreeze or Icy Hot. Start off by coating the whole arm with lubrication. You want a little bit more. We don't want friction while doing this. What I'm going to do next is take my spoon, and it doesn't matter if you use the round portion or the handle. I like to use the handle. We're going to start at the top right here, right over the deltoid. Let's take the spoon, go 45 degrees like this, and then just press into it, build some pressure pressure but not cause any discomfort and do a slow stroke down with it. When you do this you want to go over a certain area about two to three times very slowly and then move over just a little bit and repeat until you go over the whole area. Try to put in as much pressure as you feel comfortable. When you do this also you might feel a spot that feels very gritty almost like sandpaper. That's usually a spot of adhesion and red pockets will start to form right here. That's blood flow coming into the area to promote healing. So throw some more red repetitions in there. Also, if you feel like a muscle knot or a spasm, throw some more repetitions in there and work it out. From there, you want to attack it at different angles, maybe 30 degrees, 40 degrees. Use different parts of the spoon, but explore the area and go with what you feel is the most effective. For the bicep, let's do the same thing, but what I'm going to do with this is put a little bit of arm motion in there. So let's flex and then relax. This will engage the muscle a little bit more so you can go in there and dig at it and hopefully get it to release and feel a lot better. What I want to do next, go over the tricep and do the same thing. Just slow controlled strokes like this and work out pockets of adhesion and tightness. For the elbow, we want to focus on the outside and the inside. You can get what is known as lateral epicondylitis, that is tennis elbow, right across through here. So I like to really pay attention to that and go over the soft tissue. When it comes to the elbow or around the wrist, do not go over any bony parts because that can cause irritation. Only soft tissue like muscle. And then you want to go inside to target something like golfer's elbow. You can go on the inside and then work your way around the back just making sure to stay off the bone. For the forearm, what I like to do is start with a hitchhiker sign. This will activate a strip of muscle right here, the brachial radialis. And then from there, I do the same thing, just nice, slow strokes and going over spots that need a little bit more attention. Actually, when I'm doing this, I'm already starting to notice a red pocket forming. That's adhesion, so I want to throw some more repetitions in there. When I do the forearm also, I like to do wrist motions to activate the wrist extensors and flexors. So I'll go up and down with the wrist like this, and I'll go in and out and then pretty much go all the way around the forearm while doing these motions and you're going to notice that maybe one just really sets it off a little bit more that tightness or achiness so you can target it a little bit more efficiently but go pretty much from the top all the way down to the wrist use different parts of the spoon go over different areas and make sure to really target the spots that need it the most. And I hope that gives a lot of quick relief. This soft tissue release is what I like to call the $2 muscle fix because you need two tennis balls, which are roughly a dollar. Put them in a large sock all the way to the end and tie a tight knot. You want this as tight as possible because it will roll a lot easier, making this much more effective. A secret to this, just take it like this, pinch it off, twist it, and then tie your knot because this will become very tight. Let's start with the top part of the arm. What I'm going to do is just go to a flat elevated surface 
surface, put my arm down like this, and go right over the top part, the bicep. Let's take our massage tool, and I'm just going to roll it up and down the top part of the arm, applying pressure in there as much as I can tolerate, because you really want to get in there and get a deep self-massage. What you want to do is go over spots that feel very achy. Go up and down, applying enough pressure in there to get a massage, and do this for about 10 to 15 seconds. You can relax, throw in a couple more repetitions or until you finally feel it release. You can also do dynamic movement while you do this. So I just kind of flex and extend at the elbow because it's going to activate those muscles and you might find that this becomes a, a little bit more effective at trying to get rid of those trigger points or muscle knots. For the tricep, what I'm going to do is target the back side of the arm. I'm going to place our massage tool right here on a flat surface, start right at the elbow and work my way up on the back side of the arm. Let's take the other hand, apply pressure downwards into that flat surface and then just simply roll up and down. Again with this one, go over different spots that you feel are a little bit more achy. Do about 10 seconds into rolling in there and focus on applying as much pressure as you can. You can also do that similar movement that we did with the bicep, flexing and extending at the elbow to target those muscles a little bit more and hopefully get a better self-release. For the forearm, what we can do is start off with our palms down towards the flat surface and just roll up and down it again, targeting spots as needed. Apply pressure with your hand too to get a deeper massage. With this one, you want to go up and down with the wrist and then go in and out with these forearm movements. You're going to notice that the muscles get activated, so go with the one that you feel helps the most. You can then go into a hitchhiker sign like this, do the same thing, apply pressure in there, go through the different wrist motions as needed, target the back side of the arm right here, and then for this part right here, you can just also take the massage tool and just go in and apply pressure as needed. This is called the wall tricep stretch, and it's a better one because not only is it going to hit the back side of the arm, but pretty much the whole side into the lats. We just need a flat surface like a wall or a door. Whatever tricep that we're focusing on, let's take the side of that body, place it flush against the door of the wall just like this as much as we can. Just stretch your arm up like this. What I'm going to do from there is bend the elbow, place the hand on my upper back just like this. Let's try to reach up and really focus on driving that elbow up as much as you can because you'll start to feel a very good stretch in the back over the tricep and also into the side right here. You'll also notice that you have a little bit of a space right here, maybe a little bit of a gap. What I want to do is focus on taking my body and driving into the wall as much as we can to close that. When you do this, you're going to feel the stretch intensify, so only go to your comfort level. What we want to do is hold this one comfortably for 15 to 20 seconds. From there, you can relax, take a breather, and then on the next repetition, drive the elbow up even further and try to close that gap even more. Try to do this for five complete repetitions. How we can take this one to the next level is I'm going to go into a very good stretch and then I'm going to lower my body weight, buckle at the knees, drive downwards kind of like a squat position. You're going to feel this stretch really intensify. So again, only to your comfort level. Hold this one for 15 to 20 seconds and then repeat that one up to five times. And whatever you do on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. This bicep stretch is great because not only is it going to help lengthen the muscle, but also take a lot of tightness out quickly. Let's say that I just did curls for the first time in a while, and I have a lot of pain while trying to open up my arm at the elbow. What I'm going to do is take that side's arm, open it up as much as I can. From there, I'm going to take the other hand, take the thumb, place it right above the elbow, right on the beginning of the bicep, right through there. What I'm going to do from there is press into it as much as we can. Try to build up as much pressure as possible. From there, I'm just going to flex and then open up the elbow just like this. So when you do this, you're going to feel a lot of tension being built over to the bicep. This stretch can become very intense. Only go to your comfort level. But you want to do this for about 10 to 15 times, just nice, slow, controlled repetitions. From there, I'm going to go up just a little bit and then repeat this process for 10 to 15 repetitions until I go all the way up towards the top. You're going to notice that one certain spot over the bicep might be the most painful, it might be the most tight. Make note of that and throw more repetitions in there until you finally start to feel it release. And at that point, do a before and after, and I hope that you have a lot more motion into the arm and a lot less pain. So here is a great forearm stretch that you can pretty much do anywhere at work, at home, all we need is a flat elevated surface. It's really going to focus on the wrist flexor and extensors. So whatever arm that we're looking at, let's take the palm, 
place it down on a flat surface. When we do this exercise, we do not want the hand to come up like this. So we're going to take the other hand and just drive downwards to make sure that doesn't happen. Let's keep the elbow straight during this. So what I'm going to do is just lean forward into it with my body weight. The more that I lean forward into it, the more intense the stretch is going to be felt on this side of the arm. Go to your comfort level only. Hold this position for about 15 to 20 seconds. You're just going to relax, take a breather, and then do five repetitions. Each repetition, lean into it a little bit more to intensify that stretch to get more tightness out. From there, I'm just going to flip my hand like a pancake and then stabilize, do the same thing. Lean forward into it as much as we can. The more that we do that, the more intense the stretch. This time around, you're going to feel it on this part of the arm right here. So five repetitions again for 15 to 20 second holds. Each repetition, go a little bit further with it, and hopefully that gets a lot of tightness and pain out very quickly. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.